I thought it was all a meme guys what the fuck. So for backstory, I'm from really rural Texas, at the time of this story I was 15, I had just gotten a new gun, M1 carbine for my commandos, and I was going out for a solo camping trip in the Piney Woods, Leon County to be exact. Be me. Excited about camping trip and new gun. Packing up and heading out in the afternoon. Hike for probably 2 miles into the woods. Having a good time, plinking cans and shit, destroyed a tree rat with 30 carbine glory. Walk a bit more dicking around. Pretending I'm a Vietnam era troop fighting Charlie and stalking the jungle and shit. Typical slash K slash Omondo fag. 6 p.m. in November. Getting darked out nigger. Find a little flat spot overlooking a creek. Set up my poncho shelter with a wool blanket on top of trash bags filled with leaves. Build my fire and make some stew from what was left of the squirrel and some veggies I brought. Shit is cashed out wave. Did more wood gathering and taking my stuff off. It's a little after 11 p.m. now. Fuck I'm tired. Hear some leaves rustle. Think nothing of it. Then I notice the only thing making any noise is my fire and the stream. Remember all the spooky green text I've read at once. God fucking damn it. JPEG. Think wait it's probably just some meth head out here. Audibly say is someone out there? I'm armed I don't want any trouble. Silence. Utter silence. Make sure I have a full mag. A 20 rounder in it and two of the 10 rounders. Clutching rifle thinking about how many goo Koreans it's taken in its life. Hear some weird fucking noise behind my tarp. Listen closer. Went true bully. Sounds like a fucking cat if it could speak. Still think it's some druggy fucking with me. Hear something else. Ah uat tiri sum me. Like someone was talking like me but gurgling and high pitched and fucked up. Trying to rationalize this but it's hard. Still think maybe it's something spooky. Shitting myself I muster up my courage as best I can. Stand up above my tarp pointing my gun into the trees. Total darkness. Think for a second I might be hearing things. Only for one second. Just then I smell that copper burnt hair shitty twang. Realize what I'm dealing with, I rack my M1. Not the most powerful but better than nothing. That face when I wish I would've taken granddad's 45 to 70. Fuck. While pointing rifle I reach for my headlamp. Click it on. Scanning trees. Don't see anything. Then I see it. I can't green text this part because it genuinely fucks me up still the way this thing looked. It was standing behind a tree like it was hiding or something with half its face out and dear Jesus it had these red eyes that were like two orbs of an absolute killer and its head was fucking tall aside from that he was this gross black figure really lean and tall with long hands. I didn't notice much else because I ripped off three shots. The world lit the fuck up. Can't hear. Bright ass muzzle flash in nearly pitch black dark. I hear the re of 10 billion autists. I say fuck this shit. Run like a greasy weeb after nuggies. Left my camp and all I have is my rifle, my knife, and a pack of cigarettes. Tactical dude do nuggets falling from my jeans. I hear these heavy footsteps hitting the ground behind me finally after pure silence for like 10 seconds. Get to a huge oak tree turn and dump what's left in my mag in the direction of the footsteps and reload. As I'm running I have my movie moment. I trip and fall into another goddamn creek bed, it's slippery as all fuck and at least 9 feet up both sides. I still hear inhuman demonic fucking screams. Praying that when it kills me it at least doesn't rape me. Call out in Christ's name leave me now and fire above the creek bed as well as I can. Scared shitless. I lay back down and then. Fucking lights out. I completely blacked out. I don't know if it was fear or anger or adrenaline but I blacked out. Think I'm dead. Come to, don't know if it's been 3 seconds or 3 years. No more screeching. Check rifle. Still loaded. Walk down the creek bed following it looking around everywhere in the high ready. Finally get to where I can get out. Climb out. Woods still silent. Fuck to the no.jpg. The second after taking a look around I bolted home. Ran every bit of those 2 miles and change as hard as I could no stopping. Make it home and go to the back porch it's 4 a.m. when I check my watch. I'm scared of this skinwalker slash fleshgate slash wendigo or whatever else but not as scared as I would be if I woke my grandparents up at 4 in the fucking morning. Sit up all night on the porch with my rifle scanning the woods. At about 7 I hear one more horrible screech from somewhere in the holler, but with a lot of gurgling before some sort of break. See two red dots somewhere in the middle of the trees. Walk around and granddad is awake. 
go inside and tell him I had a good time just couldn't sleep. Looks me dead in my eyes, knowingly. He laughs and says, yeah I remember that tall motherfucker in a sort of I remember nom way. We drink coffee and talk until my nana woke up. And that's my story lads, I don't know if my family is cursed or it's those woods or what but fuck that all together. I still camp and go in the woods. But never without my rosary and my gun. Have some more stories but that's for another time.